Hi all, Ashley here. Hope you're doing well. Today I'm coming on to share a recent mini album that I made as well as the tutorial for how I put this one together. So this one opens up like this and pulls out like this and has some of these like um, accordion folds sitting on the base as well as um, some belly bands and tags and there, I know that there's another way of making this where you cut into the base of the paper, but this way I like because the accordion folds sit on top of the base. And for the paper, I did use Pink Fresh Studio paper, which um, I believe, I know the paper is very sturdy compared to some other pattern papers. I believe it's 80 pound paper. Um, so yeah, that's the type of paper that I'm using. And I pulled out about five sheets of 12 by 12 pattern paper for this. And then other than that, I used my scoreboard and my um, trimmer and just some embellishments. And that was pretty much it. So um, here are the measurements for the album. And I will talk through everything. So let's get into it. So I pulled out some pattern papers. These are 12 by 12 sheets. I have five sheets. One's a little bit cut up already, but it's gonna be uh, big enough anyways. And two of the patterns are repeating. So I have these two patterns that repeat, and this is the Pink Fresh Studio Happy Blooms collection from a little while ago. This is more of a summer collection, but I'm going to try to keep it pretty Valentine's theme. Uh, but if it comes out more summery, that's fine too. <laughs> I'm not going to force it. So um, let's start with our cutting and our scoring. These are the initial measurements, and I will talk through them. So for the one sheet that's the only one that doesn't repeat that you have, these are going to be our accordion folds. So, so we need three strips that are two and one eighth inches by 12 inches. So two and one eighth, three times. And then for the base, so not the cover, but the thing that's gonna, the paper that's gonna go behind your accordion fold, we need two sheets here. One that's 12 inches by seven and a quarter. And then one that is four and a half by seven and a quarter. So we've got these two. Then I'm going to actually save the covers um, at the very end. So for now, I'm not going to cut out the covers. Let's just work on the base. So 
out, take out our strips, and then we'll do some scoring here. And these ones we're going to score every three inches. Every three inches. Three, six, nine, and then just repeat. And then with our base, we're going to score this every one and a half inches. Seven and a half, nine, ten and a half. Just going to repeat that all one more time. scoring obviously along the 12 inch side this one now we need to score on the four and a half inch side but again scoring every one and a half inches so one and a half and three so just a couple score marks here okay so then now let's fold everything up and varnish. I'm folding these strips I'm already doing my accordion fold so fold up fold down fold up and varnish same thing on the next one last time I started folding up uh, this time I'm gonna alternate so I'm gonna start by folding down
Okay, so you should already have your three accordion folds all scored and you can already see like the alternating accordion fold that we're going to build out. Now let's do the base. I'm just going to fold up towards me. And back. And then keep doing that. So this is what your base is going to look like. Um, the last accordion fold here was up, but the direction of this last fold here is up. So the direction of this one I made going down. So it sits like this. And then these are going to sit just right along these creases. like so. so. Just gonna lay this all out here. Okay, so I did some zigzag stitching across each of these top layers and then also on the base I did some zigzag stitching as well. And just to recap what we've done so far. So for the top layer, again, we cut out three strips that were 12 inches by two and an eighth. And then we scored every three inches. And then for the base, the two larger pieces at the bottom, the 12 and four and a half inch side, we scored every one and a half inch. So yeah, now let's start assembling. I'm going to start assembling this bottom layer. So we just, all we're gonna do is just glue this last um, section, this last portion, to the front of this one. You're just going to glue them, just like that. So let me get out some double-sided tape, actually. So leaving this part in here, just to mention that it probably would have been better to actually use liquid glue instead, um, just in case um, I like I did here, accidentally lay down the papers a little bit crooked. Um, so yeah, liquid glue is a little bit better just to give a little bit of leeway to make some slight adjustments as you're laying these down.
I'm going to switch to my Tombow Mono Glue, um, and I'm going to adhere down the top strips. Um, the it's really just going to be adhering them down based on where the paper is touching as it's laying now. Um, but nothing, if, if you're assembling yours, nothing should be touching the first one and a half inches and the last one and a half inches, these two like last strips. This is where the cover is going to adhere to. So you, those should be, nothing should be getting glued onto there right now. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'm just going to adhere these onto the paper just exactly as they're sitting now. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the top strip looks pretty good. Let's just make sure. Seems even. I think so. Yeah, seems good. Okay, let's do the exact same thing on the bottom one. Just having a good dollop of glue here. And for this little piece, I'm going to start with the glue in the middle.
Okay, and then I'm gonna let that set for a minute. Okay, so this is all set. As I see it folded, it's, I really like this color combination actually, but I'm gonna just try to keep it monochromatic for now. So I'm gonna stick with my original papers for the cover. Um, maybe we can add some more color when we decorate here, but um, uh, for our cover, what we need is six and a quarter by seven and a quarter, and we need two of those. So let's cut that out. Okay, so we have two sheets, six and a quarter by seven and a quarter. And then now we need to score both of these in half along the six um, and a quarter side. So these are gonna just go over a cover like this. So we just need to score. three and one eighth inch. Fold this in half. your cover like that. So then we're going to do one more.
I wasn't recording with the cover, but basically all I did was I glued that down. So how we did that, I take this last strip here and we're going to add glue all over. Then take your cover and align it in here. Make sure everything is pushed down and nicely aligned. And then now, we're going to add glue all over this and fold over. Okay, so that is pretty much the base assembled and I'm going to do the embellishing process uh, in fast forward. I think what I'm mentioning here is just that because the base is this accordion fold style, um, you can feel free to go very heavy on the embellishing, much heavier than I went here um, because there is a lot of slack in the mini album. Um, so what I'm going to do is start by decorating the inside of the covers. I just used some of the scrap paper from that cover, stitched a little belly band, and then added in the tags. So all of the scraps from the base are getting used elsewhere here. I made some tags, um, I made that belly band like I mentioned, and then I made this little circle die cut. Um, and I'm going to embellish this little section here. And then I also, as you can see, cut out from like other scraps some little squares. I have some 2x2 two two prints coming, um, but they're not here yet. So I was just using them as, um, originally I thought like I would embellish flowers behind all of the squares. I ended up doing something different, but... Um, but yeah, I just had those as like placeholders when I was thinking I was going to do something um, different with the photos. But and then here, um, I think this is yeah, this is the Rosie Studio collection. I stitched that butterfly in the middle part, and then just grabbed some of the florals from the unconditional pack. I've been using that pack quite a bit, but I hadn't used the floral pack at all yet. And I really like the blue tone of that floral, super pretty. I love blue and pink together. And then I also pulled out some of the puffy stickers from that same collection. Adding those in as little details. And I'm going to end up mirroring the same kind of embellishment circle look on the other side. I'm using some of that scrapbook.com liquid glue. I've been able to test it out a little bit more and uh, I think it's it's okay. I just still prefer the Tombow mono glue. I trust the hold of that glue better. And so tucking in some of the tags. One of the tags um, is from the embellishment pack from the Rosie Studio collection.
And for the photos, I guess I'll just mention, um, so I print them from Shutterfly whenever I do print photos, which is not a ton, but when I do, I print them from Shutterfly. I do have a Canon selfie printer, but I find it, like, that is only good for printing one photo here and there. It's not good for bulk printing, and I had, like, hundreds of photos to print, so I was not going to use my selfie printer for that. <laughs> But I did um, use a collage app on my iPhone and I collaged four photos onto a square so that I could do the 4x4 four four prints and then get 2x2 two two prints um, from Shutterfly. So I continued the embellishing process here and I added in a couple of um, embellished mini envelopes that I had made previously using this collection and I just added those to some of the squares. I'm going to keep most of the embellishing kind of light, like I'm adding in some frames here but I'm only attaching them on the bottom. I think I will add more embellishing later, but for now I'm going to keep it kind of just pretty light and then just mirroring um, some elements, repeating some of the elements across the page. So a couple embellished envelopes, some washi that runs along the center, and then some frames. And then here I am doing the belly band. So again using one of the scraps from the 12 by 12 papers and then wrapping that around the mini album giving myself plenty of like extra slack I don't wrap it around tight at all um, and then taping that and then I'm just going to embellish the cover here I did also stitch this one a little bit So adding in some florals and then some chipboard and then going to adhere all of that down. I wanted some blue here just popping out a little bit since we added some blue on the inside and then also wanted um, a little bit of a gold accent as well. Then I'm going to add some little gold um, hearts to the cover. Um, just some like little gold heart stickers from the sticker sheet. And that will be my completed mini album. So I really like how this thing came out and um, I hope you enjoyed seeing this process. Thank you for watching, especially if you have gotten to this part of the video. I really appreciate you watching all the way through. I hope you'll like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks. Bye.